What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chiwar back at y'all again with another art tutorial, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, and comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. And before I start this video, if you would like a chance to win a digital art tablet, all you have to do is go subscribe to my second channel, Chi World Vlogs. And leave a comment under my last video saying I did it and you will be entered in the contest to win you a digital art tablet so without further ado let's jump right into this video I'm gonna use this Wiz Khalifa right bam after you do that you want to drop the opacity down on the picture lock that layer create a new layer right above it and if you're using a digital tablet like your boy, you want to set your pe your pressure so you can get the brush you see me using. I hate when people keep asking me, bro, what brush you using? What brush you using? If you're using a digital art tablet, bro, all I do is set my pressure. I'm not using no special brush. Even though I say it in every video, I'm going to still have to repeat myself. So what you do is you come right here, click new brush. Hit OK. Then you go to pressure. Change this number to three. Change that number to three. And voila. Now, oh snap. Oh, OK. Now, you see me. And that's not a, it's not a brush. I, you can't really call it a special brush. All it is is pressure. Look. If I press light, I get a light line. If I press down hard, I get a thick line. If I press light, I get a light line. So I'm not using no special brush, bro. It's just me using pressure. So what you want to do, you want to get you like a neon color. I always start with like a pinkish purple. You feel me? Drop the opacity down on your brush. Cause what I'm finna do is I'm finna sketch out a skull real quick. And mainly when I'm sketching out like the half skull, half face, I automatically follow like his facial structure. You know what I'm saying? You kind of see it already. But his cheekbone be right here. Bring this over. Gotta come out that way. And then, you know what? We ain't gonna make it rip all the way. I'm gonna just rip it this way. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna select my little sketch I just made, and I'm gonna drop the opacity down on that. Okay, that's good enough. Create me a new layer. Get my black lines out. And this one, you wanna come in, you wanna add some finer details. You know what I'm saying? We gotta make this look like it was ripped open.
for my pencil tool. You gotta move black to the top. Make sure the bottom one's locked. So I'm gonna color in all the black shadows. It's gonna be sitting in this pocket right here. You feel me? Easy dizzy. I'm telling y'all, man, the more practice you do, the more easier this will become, bro. Art will become easy once you put in the work. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. Give me a nice little texture line right there. Also, I wanna put some shadows behind some of these wrinkles. I mean, some of the skin that them pulled up. So, give it a nice little 3D feel to it. So, let's go ahead and make a little shadow. Now that we finished with the line work, what you want to do, you want to highlight everything, go to object, expand appearance, then you want to go to your pathfinder. On your pathfinder, you want to hit merge, so all your lines can become one. You want to duplicate your line work layer, lock the top. Make sure your bottom one is selected. Find us a nice base color to start with. And I think it's gonna be this right here. Go to my rectangle tool. Drag that color over the entire picture. Right click the color. Go to arrange, send to back. So the color can go behind the line work. Now you want to highlight everything together and hit merge. So now the color can become one with your line work. Then you want to right click it or to isolate select group. And now we can delete this outer color. Uh oh, and you see, you see how this part ain't get colored because I didn't have it closed off right here. But it's all good. We gonna act like that was part of the plan anyway. So, now what you wanna do, you wanna hit this drop down menu right here. And you wanna lock 
all your black lines so it'll be easier to work around but make sure the top two is unlocked so now we can isolate select group they'll be able to color everything that's closed off so every time i say isolate select group what you're doing is it's isolating this group from everything else anything that's closed off is going to isolate it instead of highlighting everything it's just going to isolate it and make it where you can just color that one area so i'm holding shift to color more than one area at a time holding shift if i can color all this at one time make this green also i'm gonna make this green and i'm gonna make it skin let's peel back like a I don't know what color but it got, it's gonna be different from the skull color okay cool now let's bring our picture back you feel me we're gonna, we're gonna bring the color up as well let's make a copy of our color layer go to the top color layer and we just gonna delete the skull color so let me go ahead and hit delete now we can bring the color layer back create us a new layer and put it in between those two and now it's time to add some detail shading to the skull what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sample my skull color and we're gonna find a dark shadow for it start out with and i think that'll do right there go to my pencil tool make sure my color is at the top and the bottom one is locked and this way you do all the shading at my boy I shade with my pencil tool, so all I do is draw out the shade I want. Come back, close it off. So I'm using the pencil tool right now. All I gotta do is just draw out your shadow.
There you have it, you guys, how to make a dope zombie slash creative school grind. Make sure you hit that like button. Stay tuned. More heat coming soon, and I'm out there.